So this is a little map and quick tip. Everyone knows they're all layers, we've all used them. We all know what they are, you know. Just put it there and there you go. Um, but sometimes it takes a bit of getting used to the assets that we have in Portal 2. Um, so I'll just show some of the like overlays I would use to like decorate this little wall here, because just like this, it's very plain. But with just a, little, a few very basic overlays, you can already make this better. One of the most useful ones when I first heard about it is the are the inverse overlays. These are beautiful borders that you can just plug on there. And it creates a very good transition between whatever wall and this like concrete wall. Although it could probably also transition to a bunch of other stuff. But yeah, this is really good to kind of just frame out the border of this so it isn't just as as an as abrupt of an ending here. Yeah. We follow your stain decals. Very simple. I usually just stick to um, very um, faint ones, ones that aren't that strong. These are kind of useless because, I mean, what's the point? You know, you can't even tell that it's there. Um, these are these are quite nice. Those are those are pretty pretty subtle. You can pretty much throw them everywhere. If you search for tile, you will find this material, which is great uh, because it's sort of like two use cases in just one. You can have this side, and it, it kind of like mirrors the same tile pattern, the same like sixty four tile pattern. Stretch this out. Or the other side is, is more of just a grimy lime of whatever orange material you would imagine here. Both sides are pretty cool. I sometimes use them when I try to make like a horizontal wall like this and I rotate this to kind of um, mimic the test chamber tiles that we have. And if I then want to make a transition to like concrete or whatever, I'm working, I'm working a, lot, a lot with concrete mostly because these assets are kind of apl applicable in all styles. You can use this obviously in underground, but also in, in uh, model aperture if you want. Just depends on the style you're going for. Yeah, I sometimes use these to kind of um, give a bit of detail to the edges here. Just, just so there's a, a bit of like um, a bit of interest in this. Also, you are, you can like move it in a bit, and then it's, it, it comes a lot more subtle, but still kind of transitions that border better. You can even layer them. Yeah. If I search for debris, there'll also be a bunch of stuff here that's very useful. Uh, some of these are ported from. Um, uh, from half of two like that and that uh, But this one is important too. This is just what the most like universal decal there is because this can work you can throw it everywhere, right? This can just be like random tiles that have flown off or if you put like um, Paper on top then this could be like little papers in an office There's also this the Debris concrete some nice little just specks of dust. Very useful. Always make sure that when you're when when you're working with um, some sort of like ducts, they can often feel very disconnected from their environment. Let me just select a, pro a good model. Let's use that one. Just to kind of corner this off. Yeah. I mean, of course, make sure that you're actually connecting it with the proper side. And, what, and one thing that can really connect these is just using um, some stain here. 
Now, when I first did this um, in Portal 2, I thought, oh, you know, that's, that, that is like such a video gamey thing that to have everything like super dirty and grimy. And it, it, like, this doesn't even leak any, any like water, does it? So it doesn't really make sense. This is a custom decal that I have. I quite like this for the triple wall pipes. It's from it's from textures.com, so you can also just get that yourself. But yeah, I first thought that this was kind of unrealistic, but the more I've, I've looked at like real life sort of ducts, this is actually realistic. <laughs> I, I have this in my, in my room. <laughs> Should clean that out probably. Yeah, so very basic, just overlays. But maybe this would help some of some people because it's one of the one of the things that really puts um, can put your map above the norm. I'd say, I guess, just adding like a minimum amount of um, overlays just to combine the textures a bit more. Just compare this with this. Yeah, all I added except for that is overlays. But I think it's a bit more than just, you know, like 20% better. <laughs> All right.